Johnny, I like your math. Uh, and obviously, uh, the, the debate goes on at the federal level. Uh, and uh, hopefully, we all hope and pray uh, that all Americans will be covered for health care. Um, I was in support of a public option. I'm not sure where that is today. Uh, that legislation is changing uh, as we speak. But no matter what happens, Pennsylvania needs to continue to do what it does best. And I have been a strong advocate of a variety of programs that voted for them uh, and would continue to enhance them as government. Uh, the PACE program and the PACE Net program. Uh, the pharmaceutical assistance contract for the elderly. We should all be very proud of that program. It is the best program in the United States of America. It serves our senior citizens, and it serves them well. If anything, we need to expand that program. But you need available resources from the lottery program to make it happen. The CHIP program was the first children's health insurance program in our country. We should be very proud of that program, and also tobacco settlement dollars. We need to try to get more money into the adult basic program. If there's any specific need in Pennsylvania, that's it. Thank you, Jack. Mr. Dart. Obviously, we face tremendous challenges in healthcare. We read about it every day in the newspaper and see it on TV. We do have to wait to see what happens out of Washington to finally see what decisions they're going to make. Really, one of the best healthcare plans that you can have is a jobs program. People are working, they have jobs, they have access to healthcare. <coughs> That's what we need to do. We need to invest in ourselves. We need to invest in companies so that they can provide healthcare. And when the, and when People who are challenged who do not have health care, the state has to step in. We need to take care. I see it as a mayor. Cities are the most challenged. People who do not have health care usually live in urban areas. They choose their, their doctor, they go to emergency rooms, which is a tremendous drain on the health care system. We need to reach out and help those people. But also, we need to invest in ourselves and invest in creating jobs so that people can have sustaining income but also have Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. I am afraid that our uh, Democratic colleagues in Congress are about to blow a wonderful opportunity. They have uh, a basic plan. Uh, they didn't learn uh, how critical the problem was. Once those crazy tea backers emerged last August, um, the White House and the congressional leadership should have understood uh, that there are, there's anger and, and understandable anger among all citizens, but that there are those opponents of reform that will say and do anything to try to kill it. And they fooled around and fooled around, and, and, and now they've lost their, their 60th vote. However, if I were running Congress, uh, I would put together the very best bill we could and put it up for a vote, and if the Republicans want to delay it and hold it up and make them filibuster around the clock. Let the people see that level of obstruction. And I think we win that. Um, I feel long term, the only real solution for our health care problem is to go toward a Medicare type model, a single payer model. <laughs> single-payer, I'll, I'll chair every meeting, pull everybody together, and, and, and move forward on that issue. Thank you. Uh, thank you. This is still the biggest threat to the middle class in this country, the, the out-of-control cost of health care. Uh, I know firsthand, running Allegheny County in six years, watching health care costs for our employees go from $30 million to $65 million in six years. We put it out for bid last year, had three bidders. They all came in at $65 million within $50,000 of each other. There is no competition out there. Don't let anyone kid us, there is no competition. I don't think the election in Massachusetts was a signal not to deal with this. It might have been a signal they didn't like the current process or the current bill. This is the most important thing the federal government has to deal with, because they're the only level of government 
that can get the competition back to the costs under control to make an even playing field. As governor, and as a candidate for governor, I'm watching very closely what happens in Washington. Uh, I am going to respond based on what they pass, and if they do nothing, it will be the number one issue for me coming in as governor, and I will use all the power of my office, plus the different departments that oversee insurance and oversee uh, health care to make sure that we keep it uh, affordable. And we shouldn't take our eye off the ball. When I say the biggest threat to the middle class of this country, the cost of health care is outstripping any increases in wages that any of us are making. If we don't get this right, uh, you're not going to see middle class in this country. The federal government's got to step up and do what's right to get this under control. I'm going to be paying attention to it, and I will do what I have to do as governor to make sure we all see the benefits. Thank you. Thank you.